Ooh, that's a fun one. Up next, we have Aklo versus Man Ray. Don't know too much about Man Ray. I think I've watched a set or maybe two before. And of course, Aklo, um, Fox Link player. And, yeah, I believe uh, Man Ray's a Ganondorf player. Um, you're right. Gan I've Ganondorf, watched a few yeah. sets from them as well. I think they were at Rollback Rumble, the big one. I don't know if there were any sets of theirs that I casted, but if I remember that they're a Ganon player, maybe I did. Um, but with that in mind, he did place uh, rather high at Rollback Rumble, 33rd. Uh, lost out to the yeah. legendary Vish. Um, I, I think I to exit Man tournament Ray there. A run at something. Man Ray made some sort of run. Um, yeah, I mean, overall pretty consistent player. I've been seeing like 13th here, 17th here on, on his stat sheet. So pretty good. I mean, I for one, I'm just personally excited to see a Ganondorf uh, regardless. But I think when it comes to uh, matchups that he could have asked for, Aklo is probably one of the worst head-to-heads he could have asked for because Aklo just knows how to play the patient game and kind of exhaust low tiers of any of their available options um right. and the big question for me as we get ready to get into this game one is i wonder if we're gonna see the triforce of courage face off against the triforce of power at any point yeah if we see a uh, link um link ganon mostly known for uh mango versus kage back at uh, revival of melee <laughs> yeah um, isn't that weird that's like the one time we've that seen it <laughs> yeah i don't know why mango went Link of all of his characters, but he did, and he won. Yeah, and already off to a pretty rough start. You can kind of see where uh, kind of the faults of Ganon are in this ma in this matchup, where Akal can really just take advantage. But the CC is going to be ever important on the side of Man Ray. So, speaking on the faults of Ganon, because it's the same against every character, so you can pretty much just apply it to whatever character you play. Gan's main problem in this video game, and there's quite a few, but the main one is that he has no way of threatening dash back. Um, sure. Basically, the way his jump works is that pretty much every character can reactively shield or dash back um, when he commits to a jump. And in a game where dash dancing and dash grabbing is just so strong, once he gets into landing lag, like, it's kind of it. And so uh, he doesn't have the greatest ground moves, and he has to jump to commit to everything, so... It gets it gets really tough to play Ganon in, in the 2021 metagame. Yeah, tough is uh tough is an understatement right now. Aklo up two full stocks at this point. Single aerial might be enough to at least promote an edge guard for Man Ray, but oh my god, it's that might be a four stock on the horizon already. Aklo's yeah. just kind of clocking in right now. It's a four tilt, could be an edge guard. Gets an ops attack. Should still be yeah, dead. He could have yeah. he could have turned around jab to do the whole knockback stacking thing get the kill but man ray finds it anyway uh this is a tough one though Oof. ganon also doesn't have great uh out of shields and like just get off me options which, sure uh, doesn't help because fox and kind of just go ham oh my gosh and it gets challenging right like and that, at that point it's kind of on the ganon he's gonna lose this first game right here aklo just completely overwhelming man ray right now but I think it gets tough where where the Ganon needs to incorporate a lot more tricky movement. I think one of the things I've been seeing from uh, the player No Fluxes uh, over in some Xanadu brackets is that they'll go for a lot of uh, full hop aerial into mixing up whether it's a Tomahawk off of the double jump or a double jump second aerial. And you kind of have to play the mix-up game and wait for someone like Aklo to run into it. But I think Aklo is just so disciplined when it comes to these things that he's never going to bite. Right. And honestly, like, again, there's a lot of ways you could beat Ganon. You could you could play the standard matchup that, you know, we've all talked about, which is, like, basically just dash dance camp him. Or you can go in, and uh, he can't really uh, reversal you that easily. He can't really get get you off of him. And mm -hmm. um, or you can play a mix of both. You can dash dance camp him, he whiffs something, then you go in, and that's the stock, and you do that four times, which is kind of what Aklo did. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll see uh, getting into this game too uh, what he's going to look for. The run back to Battlefield though, I was almost wondering if maybe Man Ray wanted to try a Yoshi's pick here, Blur. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. I don't I don't mind it. I think more stage is always good for Fox uh, when he's just trying to dash dance. Okay, CC okay, nice not CC. quite able to get the aerial though. That matters so much. Ganon needs CC so badly because winning neutral is so hard that mm -hmm. when you get CC stuff, it's like, okay, at least you make it so that their neutral has to be a little more honest. 
should potentially wrap up the stock here. Man Ray keeping it much more even than game one here. Three stocks apiece, 0%, but has to concede stage control, and Ackle just brings him coast to coast with these shines. Man Ray's just having such a hard time getting in. It's okay, though. Those shines didn't deal that much damage. Still only in the 30s. Got to get uh, uh, smash the eyes off and, and, and slide right to the edge if you can. Sure. Aklo ending no it a little here. early there with the, sh with the up smash and then gets the shine. Yeah, Aklo up a stock. Misses the edge cancel, though. This could actually be huge. Ooh. Ganon yeah, late those. timing <laughs> on the back here. <laughs> like... You almost think maybe he should go for, like, the Tipman at that position. Especially if it's going to be awkward on if he can land the back air at low percent. Yeah, it's so rough. Yeah, and just okay, like that, it was even just approach. a moment ago. You see, like, that that that's exactly what has been happening every time. Throws an arrow out, actually just a little bit away from it. Uh, but this time, Man Ray doing a bit better. Yeah, just catches yeah, the aerial yeah. out, and I again just like no real uh, mix-ups in the way of his aerial approaches right now. He's kind of just landing with an aerial, and then Aklo's ready on the whiff punish every time. Yeah. But the truth is, is like those like double jump mix-ups that like were like the Gan staple for so long. They're not really mix-ups. You could just wait. You literally can just yep. wait until the landing lag and be out of the range and reactively shield if there if you ever mess up your spacing and uh, yeah, Ganon can't hit you. <laughs> like, cause cause his landing lag is so so serious and all he can do afterwards jab or I guess roll or something. Um but Yeah, you know, I think it, in the past we used to be dominant. A, uh, yeah, we called it like a bag of tricks, right? Because it's kinda like if you can if you know what you're getting into, it makes the matchup a lot easier, sure. But uh yeah, it's kind of on Man Ray to figure out how he can jumble up that bag of tricks and make it so that he can trip Aklo up in this situation. But he's going to need to win three in a row in order to do that here. Um, we're going to get into our game three in just a moment. All right, here we go. Misses a wave land, gets punished immediately. And no jump, jump as gets well. Red with this the is. Back here. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what ledge Aklo finds it on. He's just going to bring him to the other one. And it's just rinse and repeat all over again. There's the shine. So far, no options. Missed one wave land. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, that's brutal, uh, right? So far, <laughs> so far, it's dead. <laughs> For that one missed wave I land. I mean, that, we talked about how you feel when you see Pikachus. This is the story of my life as someone who plays Mario, man. Just like, oh, I made yeah. one mistake. Guess I'll die. Hey, got got to hit him back, but here's the problem there. That tech away, there's literally... Ganon couldn't have done anything there. You know, it's just maybe, maybe wizard kick, but... No. Which, by the way, is something I feel like you just got to do as Ganon sometimes. If they're just dashing you, gotta let it rip. you, just let it rip, bro. It's... Like, well, what do you got to lose? Yeah, and kind of similar tune to game one right now. Aklo just absolutely clocking in. Here comes the shine parade. This time mixing in a few aerials as well, 60%, and this is huge right now. He just is all over it. Yeah. Well. I don't know. What do you think, Big stage is Battlefield and Dreamland. Dude, I think there's nothing Ganon could do. And I, I know there's a skill <laughs> difference, because, like, Aklo's a better tournament kept, a competitor has been around longer, but I genuinely don't know what... Maybe there's there's hidden Ganon tech that I'm missing, and I'm glad to see this character still alive. But I just I I genuinely, as someone who doesn't play Ganon, doesn't know what I would do if I played Ganon in this spot. I mean, right? the thing like, that's tough is that I'm you need to make you need to make the right calls a lot. Like he's playing the defensive game quite well when it comes to uh, CC and stuff. But I think over the span of this set, Aklo's caught on to when he's promoting the uh, the CC as kind of his defensive option, and then he knows what kind of threat range Man Ray has from there. Yeah. I think that gets tough, and oh my god, no way. Okay. He was looking I think, for, I think, I think, edge cancel Yeah, up there. <laughs> Yeah, he was. Uh, I think it's more this. It's not that you have to make the right calls, because that wouldn't be so bad, right? Hey, just make the, make <laughs> no, the right reads so and you can win the game. I think I think there's no calls to make. Like, I, that's, that's a, at least for me, maybe someone who doesn't have the best Ganon. No. But 
Aklo is really mean, dude. What? Yeah, like, <laughs> what? What reads do we want him to make exactly? Like, I don't. Yeah, know. it's tough. I mean, I, I, I think I said it at the start of the before we got into the set is Aklo is just such a measured player as a whole that it's really hard for you to find a way to trip someone who's as patient as him up. Aklo's just messing around now. What, by what the is way. happening? Is this going to so, be three one? <laughs> this is basically it was a four stock and now technically Gaiden has a chance. Give me four punches, please. Oh my god. For his hubris, okay. but no, okay. <laughs> yeah, you talked about I don't like the quit outs. You know, I don't like that. How about that? That's gonna be my my anger for the day. But with there that accolade advance. Tell him, so. tell him all. Tell him all. Thirteenth <laughs> place yeah. for Man Ray. I mean, what a run though from from a Ganondorf to get thirteenth here. Um really impressive stuff overall. That's super um, impressive. Everything I just said, um, hey man, there are Foxes, Falcos, Marks who aren't getting 13. Oh my! So yeah. for all my for all my and other people's doubts uh, on Ganon the character, uh, your boy Man Ray is still getting 13. And sure, that last game looked bad, but look, losing to Aklo is not that bad on the on at the bottom line. Like, hey, Aklo's I take game. it. So you know, whatever. Why not? Yeah, so with that same situation as Polish, only a single set remaining, separating him from loser side top eight. Uh, Aklo will be moving on. Man Ray, of course, kudos to you for making it this far with Gan, and hopefully we see some more of him uh, at future events coming up. We're going to be waiting for our next set coming up shortly.